Welcome to a short tutorial about using Moonsharp in Unity. Uh, I will show you today uh, some basic information and uh, how I implemented uh, Moonsharp uh, in Unity. Um, yeah, first of all, uh, Moonsharp is a library uh, that uh, let you create um, Lua uh, scripts um, at runtime in Unity, so you can uh, give the player the opportunity to change uh, some parts of the game. For example, uh, when you type in Moonsharp, you will uh, find it in the asset store. After you have installed um, Moonsharp, uh, you can use it uh, however you like. Um, for now, I will close that tab. Uh, I created a little 2D scene. Um, uh, I will press play to show you. Uh, this is an uh, input field. When we press update, the script that's here uh, will be uh, sent to Moonsharp, uh, and then it's uh, th then it will automatically run. So in this example, input if that's true, then output one is true. Uh, now it's true. Uh, output one is uh, true, and output two is false. And when I type an extra line here, output two is true. When we update it, uh, it should automatically update uh, out, uh, output two to true. No, it's done that. <coughs> Sorry. Um, now, how do I do this? I created a little script um, with the name my script that has some public variables for now. Uh, you can implement it uh, however you want. Uh, and the uh, my script uh, uh, string. Uh, first, uh, you need to uh, insert this line of code. Uh, and when you want to read or write files, uh, there also needs to be a system.io. Here are the public booleans, uh, the string, and this is the script of Moonsharp. Then we have uh, the initialization. Um, here I set my script um, uh, with a script string that's inserted to this function. And then I run that script. Uh, now this is more um, uh, create a function in Moonsharp. Um, and when we run the script function, uh, we create four globals, then we call the script uh, the function. Now we call the function that's in the uh, script, uh, and then we get the output of that function uh, and put it uh, in the global booleans. When you want to load a script from disk, uh, you can create a function like this. Uh, it, yeah, I think it's explaining itself. And then we go back to Unity. Um, I created a game object with um, the input fields. That's um, from Text Mesh Pro. Um, uh, what did I change? Uh, content type, I set it to custom. It's normally on standard. Uh, line type, have, I have set it to multi-line new line. I think I get the rest uh, the same as original. It's not the best text editor uh, in the world, um, but it functions for this. And then I created uh, four uh, toggles, uh, just plain um, uh, toggle the function uh, UI, and then where was it? Toggle. 
uh, it serves the purpose for now um, and I put an other script um, to the game object uh, with the name main game and I uh, inserted the, the, those fields so um, on start we set a string with a script and the function we want to execute uh, through Moonsharp um, we get the my scripts um, uh, script from the text mesh uh, inputs field and then we uh, call the function in its script uh, as I explained earlier that was this one so the script text um, is creating a real function in Moonsharp and then we are uh, after the update button is pressed on the screen this function is called um, in here I set the text mesh pro input field to a string I call uh, the in a script function again I uh, set the, the input fields uh, of the script uh, to the real values on screen and after it I run the script and then I uh, get the outputs um, of the script uh, onto the toggles you can use um, the test script uh, that runs scripts uh, whenever you want every update or once a second or yeah you can try uh, whatever you want uh, here so a very basic introduction to Moonsharp in uh, Unity. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please contact me or um, and maybe I will make a, a more advanced uh, tutorial later. Um, I need to have a look uh, at that. Thank you. Bye bye. And please subscribe.